What is up, YouTube? You know, it has definitely been a while since I have uploaded a video on YouTube. It's funny, we always have all these wonderful ideas, right? Like I um, said, oh, I'm gonna make short films for a while. And I did, I made, you know, two or three, and then, you know, I got busy with other stuff. And then I said, oh, I'm going to make dancing videos for a while. And then I did, I made a couple, and then I got busy with other stuff. So with that, I wanted to talk um, to you guys about consistency and staying true to what is important. I think the intro was a great tie into that. Um, so I'm just going to tell you a quick conversation. I spoke with my friend last night on the phone. She currently moved to Colorado. She moved there because she just got a job there. So she had to relocate out there. And um, I told her that I was in my first movie, or well, not in it, but I'm going to be in it. So we film after Christmas, and I told her, you know, I'm in a movie. And she genuinely just told me, like, how proud she was of me. And that she said, you know, I remember two years ago when you said you're going to start acting, and she's like, you stuck with it. And now, like, progress is uh, finally starting to pay off. Like, you know, it, it took me two years to kind of get to a point that I'm finally getting some consistent work, you know, and don't get me wrong. It's still a struggle. Like I I'm re still getting rejected from tons of auditions and whatnot, but it's like, it's amazing because finally I, I'm at the point basically that I um, am, am seeing some results. So with consistency, I just want to challenge you guys for 2020 to pick one thing and just literally stay consistent with it. You know, like I said in the beginning, my short films, I had this idea, but I realized, okay, I don't really want to create my own stuff, you know, that much right now. I'll kind of do a little bit here, a little bit there, but I wasn't really all in. Same with my dance videos. I've been dancing since I was nine years old. I've done dancing and I love it so much and I always want to do it kind of on the side, but really my whole heart, my whole passion has just been in acting. So for me, you know, my goal, I want to get as much work as I can here right now in Arizona. And then from there, I hope to go elsewhere, another state, you know, just try to build as much acting as I can for myself. So, and I'm not going to lie, guys, I have stayed consistent with that. That's the thing that means the most to me and I have stayed consistent with it. Every day, even if it was just for a little bit, I did something with my acting, whether it was, you know, going online and applying for 10 roles. Maybe I heard back from none of them, but at least I was consistent with it. So I challenge you, what are you going to be consistent with? All right, um, maybe you say you're unhappy at your job, all right? do something about it. Don't just stay there. Um, you know, maybe, um, working out. Ooh, another one. I was really bad at working out a year ago and I was an athlete all my life. So how did I, you know, stop being consistent with that? But I did, I let, you know, my everyday teaching job get in the way. And I said, Oh, I'm too tired. I'm not gonna work out. But now I'm much more consistent. You know, I work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So I'm consistent. And if I miss it, you know, I'm hard on myself about it because I chose that that's going to be something that I'm consistent with. Eating healthy. All right. Props to my boyfriend because he really encouraged me to eat a lot more healthier than I was. I used to eat like crap. All right. I would bring like those little cups of mac and cheese, just little chips, whatever. But now I have a salad almost every day for lunch. Okay. I do eat out sometimes. But when I eat out, I try my best to make healthy choices. So I'm a lot more consistent with that. I have a lot more energy. I feel much better because of consistency. All right. And I feel like I'm preaching and I'm definitely not perfect at all, but I'm just feeling really good tonight, really motivated. And I hope that I can motivate some of you. So like I said, I challenge you guys as the year is ending, start now. Don't do this. Oh, I'm going to wait till January 1st. Nah, start now, you know, make that change today. Um, like I said, you guys can hold me accountable to things too. You know, if you see that I haven't posted anything and acting in a while, I'll be like, yo, Danielle, are you still uh, staying consistent with that? And I will guarantee message you back and say, you bet I am. Um, I'm working on it every day. Maybe you haven't seen much now, but I swear I'm working on it. You know, I'd like to hold you accountable for something too. So maybe you want me to check in with you. I'm, I'd be happy to. Um, but basically goals are not going to get met and we're not going to reach our goals unless we have, you know, um, something in place. Like for example, I write all my goals down. I know my cat chewed this up, but look, I have all my acting goals on my fridge right here, holding me accountable every day. If you follow me into my bathroom, <laughs> yes, I write myself positivity right here. You know, I say, uh, keep chasing your dreams always. Have faith, patience, heart, courage. All right, my goals are there. Oh, if you follow me into my bedroom, 
I have this acting notebook, this purple notebook right here. This right here. Oh, can you see it? Oh, sorry, guys. Right, right. Oh, shoot. Right here. All right. It's this thick. It's full of acting stuff. I document every single audition I've been on. I kid you not. Every audition. All right. Whether I got it or not, I write it down. All right. And then I think about, okay, why didn't I get the part? What do I need to work on? I kid you not. I have all of my goals every day. You know, in my mind, like I said, I have my goal here and I'll share it with you guys. Like I said, as an actress, I've, I'm new to the game, right? I don't have a lot of work here. So my goal, I'm trying to build up as much work as I can in Arizona. And then I want to move on, right? I'm going to try to hit the LA streets. I'm going to try to hit New Mexico, wherever I can. I have those goals, you know, and I'm speaking it into the universe because I know it's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen, right? So I'm feeling so pumped up tonight, so motivated. Um, God is incredibly good. I swear, when you throw um, positive energy in the world, it is so amazing, like what it can do for you. It's so weird. Sometimes I'll just be sitting in my bed and I'll just feel overwhelmed with just joy, joy to be alive, you know, happy to be working towards something every day that is just driving me. And I'll just start crying. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I crying? And, and you know, I don't worry, I get sad too. I mean, I'm human. But like I said, the second I found, um, you know, like I felt like I had a purpose and I was pursuing my dream, my life has changed ever since. And I tell you guys this because I hope that, Yours can be changed too, and that when you decide to pursue something that you love, you know, um, now I'm just rambling, <laughs> but basically you will be so much happier. Um, so with that being said, that's it. I'm going to get off. I talked really fast and I said a lot. So make it a great 2020. Get after what you love. Let's stay consistent.